In Cook County alone, there's more than $70 million available in tax refunds and $44 million available in tax exemptions. Well, now the Cook County Treasurer is making an effort to get that money back into county residents' pockets, especially those who aren't fluent in English. I grew up a white ethnic. I understand what it is to be bilingual and not understand English very well. This is a very confusing process. Cook County Treasurer Maria Papa says the Latino community is especially at risk of either losing their property or finding themselves owing a lot of money. Almost 3,000 Hispanic properties, Hispanic owned properties were on the tax sale list. So we are looking for these people to see if they, if we owe them money. Tax sale lists means a property is delinquent or that money is owed. Every time somebody loses a piece of property, it's a black mark on this office because we always wonder if we could have done something to help. The treasurer's office has made the process to see if you're owed money simple on its website. The site has consolidated 20 years of information, allowing residents to enter their address and check to see if they're owed a refund. Look at this, in 1999, there was an overpayment of $55. It says apply now, punch the blue button, apply. And in August, somebody overpaid by $5,000 apply now. It's probably a mortgage company and a homeowner. And they don't even know. They have no idea. When it comes to exemptions, first time homeowners are also eligible to get money back. And many don't even realize that's an option. All they have to do is apply. There are young millennials out there who own homes and for four years they haven't gotten the $2,000 that they're entitled to. County officials understand this can be confusing for many people. That's why the treasurer's office has teamed up with community groups to help get the word out. So we're looking for these people. Their tax bill might be 1000 and I might owe them 4000 We're trying to find them. Now, in the last month, this updated website has been visited over, excuse me, a million times. And Papas tells me that's because they have a variety of languages available for all different types of communities. And don't count yourself out. So I thought this wasn't going to happen to my family. I put my parents' address in, and it turns out that the county actually owes my father some money, not a significant amount of money. But again, don't count yourself out. Just try it out. Put your address in. Head over to the website and get your information correct. I'm live at City Hall this morning. Diana Gutierrez, The Jam.